What's up, YouTube? It's Iman. I'm recording with a different camera, so hopefully this video is coming out good. Um, my computer is moving really slow. I think I need to have it cleaned off, um, and so I don't feel like trying to fight with it to get another video uploaded. So I'm going to use my phone. Um, let's see. I had my VSG vertical sleeve gastrectomy on November 11th, 2014 uh, with uh, Dr. Christopher Riley. Um, and I had my pre-op diet. I had my, my pre-op weight. Um, the highest weight was 284. My pre-op or my visit, when I went to my first visit, um, was 265. Uh, and when I started my pre-op diet, I was 265. When I had my surgery, day of surgery, I was 252. And today, I am 222. Um, so, I am almost, I will be three months post-op on Tuesday, February 3rd. So, that's about 10 pounds a month on average. Uh, weight loss. Um, um, I think that's a little bit on the low end, but for me and my history of weight loss, um, I'm doing better than I've ever done before. Um, so that was a total of three pounds lost this week. I weighed in last week at 225. This week, I'm weighing in at 222. Uh, what's new? Um, I'm trying, this week I've been trying to remember the basics. Um, it's funny, I only had my surgery three months ago. However, um, it seems like I have forgotten some things already. Um, and so I've been trying to listen to my body. Because I am a person... Who likes to finish what I eat, what whatever I put on my plate. So I am putting less and less food on my plate. However, what I calculate on my fitness pal, I put my I decide what I'm eating, how much I'm eating, and I plug it into my fitness pal. And then I want to eat it all because I've accounted for it. Um and I am trying now to listen to my body i think that i do still need to eat those calories because on most days i'm bringing in under a thousand calories so i feel like i need to eat the calories um but i i don't want to stretch my sleep and i'm not saying i've been eating so much that i'm stuffed and you know i feel like throwing up or anything like that but i just want to make sure that i'm not at risk for stretching my sleep if that makes any sense um I was just listening to some other people talk about how much food um, they eat, like four ounces of food, um, how much meat they can take in at a time, maybe two ounces of meat and an ounce of vegetables. And, you know, and, you know, um, and so I've been just looking at being more aware of how many ounces of food I'm actually eating and not necessarily just eating the amount of food that I had serve for myself um also i just ran and i i, I hope i can attach a picture i just ran 5k this morning um and i'm so excited i actually ran walked the 5k but that was my fastest time ever um if you've been with me for a really long time you know that i ran 5k in 2013 don't know if i recorded my time I don't really know the exact mile, um, pace, my exact pace, but I finished 5K in like 55 minutes. It took me almost an hour to run 3. Point, what is 3.2 miles or whatever it is. Um, it took me almost an hour to do that. Um, today, I've only been training for two weeks now, um, but my sister told me about one she was doing today, and I felt like I've been doing the... Um, 5k program on runkeeper and i feel like i'm slightly more advanced than 
the program that I'm doing just slightly. Um, I still have a lot of weight to lose and all of that, but I think my endurance is up because I've done it before and I've been exercising. I've been um, praise dancing, um, which especially during practice, <laughs> especially during practice, it could take a lot of um, of energy to keep up a practice for um, 90 minutes to two hours. Um, and then I've been doing, um, you know, I was, was, I kind of stopped doing it. I need to, because I've been training for this 5K, but I was doing um, intensity. That's a high intensity. So I think that um, my body, my heart, um, it is just ready for the endurance piece for it, if that makes sense. Um, and so I'm there. I'm already at a, I'm at a 5K. And, and I have my fastest time ever of uh, 15 minutes and 55 seconds a mile. And I know that's really slow to you. <laughs> well, maybe not all of you. But I know that's really slow to a lot of people. Um, but that's the fastest time. I can remember in 2013, I did a boot camp with Paula Calls in, in, in uh, Biloxi, Mississippi. And day one, we had to run a mile. And it took me 19 minutes and I think 20 seconds to run or walk, really, one mile. So I have shaved like almost five minutes, you know, and, and I have not been consistently running. You know what I'm saying? Like I ran back in uh, 2000, January, from January to April 2013, I was running consistently. Then I after the boot camp was over, it was just kind of like, you know, you know, sporadically jogging and running, not, not being consistent. And then when I moved back to Houston, by September, I had fallen off of running. And in all of 2014, I did not run. So to come back and be training for two weeks and run a 5K in 50 minutes, um... And actually, and I don't know how many people behind me trained for the 5K because I know a lot of people walk, um, you know, but it still takes some endurance, you know. I don't know how many people behind me trained, but I wasn't last, man. When I ran that 5K in April of uh, 2013, I only finished before like five people, you know, if that, if it was even five. I was the the. You know what I'm saying? I was in that last straggler pack. And today, for me to not... I mean, like, there were, like, 15, 20 people behind me. And in all honesty, probably only 100 to two. I don't even think 200 people. I am no 200 people did not do that race. It's a really small 5K. It's called Running... Run for Wellness a Free 5K. It's in Houston. So if you live in the Houston area, go on Facebook and look up run for wellness um houston something free 5k um every month they have they have two free 5ks the first sunday and the last sunday of every month um one is um the heights bike and hike or something i don't know one is near downtown and starts at the university of houston and the other one is on the west side somewhere west like a leaf area not exactly sure but, um, and so first, first and last of the month, there is a free 5k. Um, and so I did that and, um, I have another 5k coming up on the, um, 21st of this month. Um, so I'm going to be looking forward to improving my time. And I decided that, and then I signed up for another 5k in April. But this 5K is called the Diva Run. Diva Run Galveston or Diva Galveston. And um, it's, um, I already signed up for it. Um, and it's April 18th, April 19th. It's a Sunday, April 19th. It's a 5K and a half marathon. And I was reading all the fine print and it said that you can upgrade to, um, uh, to the half if you would like. You just have to pay whatever the difference is. And you can downgrade from the half to the 5K, but you lose your money if you downgrade. So I'm like, you know what? I paid for the 5K, but I feel like I should try the half. 
um, I think that is a more challenging, um, more challenging goal than the 5K. I've already run the 5K before. I just ran a 5K. I got a 5K on the 21st of this month. So the Diva Run is in 11 weeks, and the 5K on my Nike app, the 5K training takes 12 weeks. So not not saying that I'm going to run the half, the the on my Nike app, the half marathon training takes 12 weeks. Not saying that I am signing up for the half marathon, but I think that doing the training and anticipate anticipating upgrading to the half, um, that's that's where my mind is right now. I want to train for it, and maybe in a month. I have I have eleven weeks, so maybe in the next four to eight weeks, I will decide whether or not I want to go ahead and pay that upgrade fee and do the half marathon. I have a friend um, or an associate, really, um, a really good friend of my sister's. Um, so she's a friend. If anybody who's a friend of my sister's is a friend of mine. Um, she is heavy, or like me. I do. I don't know her exact weight. But she's definitely heavier like me. And she ran the half marathon with, with my sister a couple of weeks ago. And I'm like, well, if she can do the 12-week training. And that, that wasn't even her first half marathon. She actually did this thing, the Bridge Series um, in the Houston area. I don't know exactly what it's called. But she had to run up the tallest bridge in the Houston area. She had to jog that thing. And she's carrying around just as much excess weight as I am. And yes, of course, she jog walked and all that. But I'm like, if she can do 13 miles, I can train for it too. So I'm training for a half marathon, you guys. Um, will I run it? I will update you in March. I will know by March if I, if I believe that I can do the... Um, 13 miles and it's not even a matter of completing 13 miles you also have to complete you have to run a 16 mile pace 16 minute mile pace and right now I'm at 15.55 which means I'm on track to definitely be able to achieve the 5k but I don't know how my endurance is over 5 miles or 10 miles versus only 3 miles so that's what's been going on with me. Um, been doing a lot of jogging. I'm so excited about it. I feel so good. My husband actually did did the jog with us. And he finished before me. And he's been just kind of like out of it. Like I think I pushed myself too hard. <laughs> and I'm just like, what? You're a man. But I mean, he's been jogging with me the last few weeks, but not every, ten, not every single time that I go out. Um, and that's because uh, he works a lot of overtime and stuff like that. So he jogs with me whenever he has time. So I think that that is all I have for you guys. Um, I look forward to updating you next week. Oh, and yes, I, don't, I think I said last week that um, I had a goal to reach... Um, 219 by today i missed that goal but i'm so I'm, I'm very excited to be at 222 i would love to be at 219 but at least i still lost three pounds um and hey i will be you know um i'll get there <laughs> i will definitely get there hopefully next week i'll be weighing in at 219 um to lose another three pounds this week would be awesome. Um, but, yeah. So, my goal for this week is to come to you next week at a minimum of, well, is that a minimum? At a maximum. At a maximum of 219 pounds. You know, if I weigh less than that, hey, I'm excited for that too. But I'm going to go for 219 um, for next Sunday. Thank you guys for watching.